Well, good morning, everyone. Ooh, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, much better. It's good to see uh, so many of you here. It's good to see if you're at home, you'll not see how many nativity characters we have here in the building with us. People have, have dressed up for today. You're still welcome to our special uh, nativity service, uh, our last Sunday before Christmas Day. Um, and uh, you're, you're also welcome if you're here in the building, and you're very welcome if you're joining at home as well. Uh, and a special welcome to two people who are joining us from home. Uh, Johnny Curry, who was to be standing here this morning, uh, and so I'm filling in for him. Uh, hi, Johnny, and a very special hello to Alan Peake, who was going to be standing here this morning, and I'm filling in for him as well. Uh, so, so I was going to say you're getting a one-man band this morning, but you're not really, because we've got our amazing singers, we've got our amazing technical team, and our church stewards, and our welcomers, and uh, everyone's been... Uh, running around a little bit today to try and, uh, and get caught up um, so as we can uh, pray together, so as we can hear scripture together, so as we can worship God together, uh, so it is good to be together. Some of you were at uh, St. Patrick's last night for the uh, Ard's Voice Christmas concert and I want to tell you that they raised £700 for Christmas Eve <laughs> concert. Well done to everyone involved in that. Uh, you'd be very welcome back here tonight at 7 p.m., which is our uh, candlelit carol service. Um, we've been missing this for a, a number of years, so it's really good to have it back. Um, it's a beautiful, peaceful service with uh, lots of music and hearing the story of scripture. Uh, so we'd love to see you back at, at 7 p.m. tonight. And as well as being really good uh, to have an old thing back, uh, there's a new thing as well that I want to tell you about, and that's happening this Wednesday. If you were at the Christmas Light, which was our, our partnership with um, Movilla Presbyterian Church, that was just part one. Um, we wanted to have a follow-up, and so this is part two uh, of our, of our uh, Christmas outreach together with Movilla Presbyterian. And it is the Community Carol Service. Um, and it is happening this Wednesday at 6.30 and it's in the Booton Community Garden, just next to the community centre at um, Abbott Gardens. Um, so it's a really exciting thing, it's a new thing, um, it's about us being outside of these walls, um, so wrap up warm, maybe if the weather's like this, umbrellas, raincoats, you know the drill, but be there um, and let's do something really special in our neighbourhood. Just to let you know about uh, a couple of upcoming services, Christmas Eve uh, communion, we gather here at 11 p.m. Um, to see in Christmas Day together um, to break bread, to share bread and wine as Jesus invited us to. Um, you'd be very welcome to that at 11 p.m. Uh, if you're not tucked up in your wee bed. Um, and then uh, on Christmas Day, 10 a.m. is our uh, fa church family Christmas celebration. It's a short service. It is lively. Um, the kids like to, uh, to bring along something that they've got on Christmas morning uh, so we can all celebrate Jesus' birthday together. Um, so we'd love to see you at that as well. Um, Christmas is a Sunday this year. Uh, and so the following Sunday, um, we're having a week off. Stay in your wee bed. Uh, put, put your nightcap on and your big woolly socks uh, and then we'll be back the following Sunday which if I can squint at the screen is the 8th of January uh, and that is our covenant service beginning the year renewing our, uh, our promises to God and God, uh, rem remembering God's promises to us uh, it's a brilliant way to start off the year so you'd be very welcome at any or all of those um, and finally, uh, once we have completed our time together in worship today, there's going to be an announcement after the service once uh, the cameras are off. So, with all that done, I, don't, I need to take a breath. So would you join me and let's take a breath and be still. After Mary, a 
the Virgin became pregnant through the gift of the Holy Spirit, she had to tell her fiance, Joseph. And when she told him, he assumed that she had been unfaithful to him, so decided to divorce her and walk away. But God had it covered. It spoke directly to Joseph in a dream, effectively telling him it's gonna be okay. And that as her husband, he had a calling to be the protector of Mary and to be the protector of God's light in the world. So we're gonna listen now to his story. Um, and we're pleased to have Michael come and read for us because Michael has uh, just uh, had a, a new grandchild. So congratulations, Michael. <laughs> So as we, uh, as we think about those called to be protectors of little ones and protectors of God's light in the world, let's hear the story of Joseph as our final Advent candle is lit. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 23. This is how the birth of Jesus and the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to the public disgrace, he had her in mind, he had it in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through his prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Michael, let's stand together. <coughs> Lord, as we, uh, as we worship you, as we tell again your story, um, Holy Spirit, come. Uh, we're open to you, God. We're, we believe that you have uh, words to speak to each of us today. And so as we sing, as we listen as we pray lord we are open to you speaking to us as you spoke to joseph as you are to worship come just as you are before your God come one day every tongue will confess you are God one day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship, come, just as you are before your God, come. One day every time will confess you are God, 
One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains For those who gladly choose you now One day One day every tongue will confess you are God One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Let's tell one another, let's tell our hearts. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship, come, just as you are before your God, come. of your coming. Lord, we pray that we would listen for them again and that we would look for your coming in our world. (coughs) Everywhere that your kingdom comes, everywhere that we see kindness, that we see forgiveness, that we see a revolution of love. And Lord, we look for your coming again in glory when you will return, not as a child, but in triumph and in glory to set right all that has gone wrong and to bring all that is darkness into light. Amen. I've got my friend Rosie with me today. Hello, Rosie. I'm the understudy. 
fresh from her star turn at the Christmas light as Silly Shepherd Caleb. And uh, it's good to see some, uh, some other shepherds about in some different yeah, costumes. Yeah. Um, I need it. Rosie, Rosie didn't know she was doing this until quarter to, quarter to ten? Quarter to ten. Yeah. So. Uh, this morning. Uh, Not last night. <laughs> and that's good because uh, it's maybe as well I didn't ask her sooner because she didn't have a chance to say no. Was it time to run away. <laughs> because what we're going to do today is we're going to sing. <laughs> we're going to sing a Christmas song that tells the wonderful story of the world's biggest party. We're going to sing the 12 days of Christmas. Do you know it? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> you lot are very sleepy today. Do you know the 12 days of Christmas? Yes, yes of course you do. That's a dollar. Right. See on the script where it says Alan? Yeah. That's you. It's a pity. <laughs> can't see, I'm in the glasses on. <laughs> You start? Did you start? Yes, uh huh. Oh, started. <laughs> so I'll finish. Um, excellent. Now, how do the 12 days of Christmas start? Do I have to sing this? You can sing it if you want. <clears throat> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. Ah, oh, what, 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 what? A partridge? Are you kidding? Who, who here in the right minds wants a partridge in a pear tree for Christmas? Just one. <laughs> There's always one. I don't want the partridge either. Uh, and anyway, I don't remember partridges or pear trees in, uh, being in Bethlehem. So I think we need a better line. <clears throat> How about... <clears throat> I have Jesus the special baby. That works all right, doesn't That's it? That's good, good. Right. Yeah. And perhaps... On the first day of Christmas, we could do on the birthday of Jesus. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, what shall we do to celebrate this birthday? How about a pop-up nativity? Now, this is where you have to interact. Doors are locked. You can't get out. <laughs> Um, can you make a pop with your finger? Ooh, I'm impressed. Okay, so you can do that, or otherwise you can just shout pop. Okay, so let's have a practice. Did you hear anything? <laughs> right. Do you know another good one, Rosie? Is this if you can if you can do this? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> right. Um, great, okay. So... I sing that bit. Yeah, yeah. I sing that bit. On the birthday of Jesus, it's what? pop nativity, nativity and, and Jesus, Jesus the special baby. baby. Very good. Very and nearly got the tune Right, what's the next line? What is the next line of the 12 days of Christmas? Two... Turtle doves. Two turtle doves. More birds. Uh, I'm not sure those birds would be much good at changing baby Jesus' nappy, would they? How about Mary and Joe and Jesus the special baby? Right, so we need a Mary and Joseph. Who is dressed up? Ooh. Is anybody dressed Fun. up as Mary and Joseph? If you're, if you're a Mary or a Joseph, come to the front. Come on. We've got the special baby as well. Come on up. Yes, you too. Brilliant. We need a baby. I admire your commitment <laughs> to the bit. <laughs> That's great. That's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> it's me again. Sorry. Excellent. Oh, no, that's the wrong line. Oh, no, it is. No, it's not. I haven't turned the page. <laughs> You'd think this was all rehearsed, wouldn't you? <coughs> right. 
Now, every time we sing your name, I want you to each do a pose. Joe, you could look all strong and carpenter. Uh, carpent. So, see, God. I, yes. Just whatever your imagination takes you to. <laughs> Mary? And little Mary? Okay. How about you wave to your adoring fans? Because you're far more famous than Joe. Oh. But that's just how it is. So, for the last line, we could all do jazz hands for the special baby. Jazz hands. Okay, let's try that. Now, we're coming up with a pop. Don't forget the pop. Right. On the birthday of Jesus, the pop nativity, Mary and Joe. And Jesus, the special baby. That's great. So don't forget your actions, right? Plenty of time to practice. Right, what about three? We could have three... Three... Oh, what's their three of in the Christmas story? Th three... I don't want any more birds. Who is there? There's three what? Three wise, three wise men! men. Yes, that fits beautifully. So we need three more volunteers at least. So if you're a wise man, come on up. Oh, oh, look, oh yes. Would you guys prep to do this? <laughs> or have you just come like this today? It's just what I wear on Sunday. <laughs> right, okay. Um, uh, uh, you, uh, whenever we sing about you, uh, imagine you're holding up your gifts. Wise man. Okay. Uh, so, shall we give it a go? On the birthday of Jesus, it's it's pop. nativity. Three wise men, Mary and Joe, and Jesus, the special baby. Excellent. You're, you're really good. Now, just remember you're on camera, but don't, no pressure. <laughs> What's the next line of the song? Does anybody remember what number we're even at? Four calling birds. Four calling birds. Right. Do I suppose to sing that? Four calling birds. Again. Again with the birds. Let's swap them for something more of our story. We've got the wise men, the holy, fa the holy family. So who else do we need? Shepherds. Well done. Yes, so we need shepherds. Any shepherds? I see them hiding amongst the sheep. Oh, gosh. Brilliant. Four shepherds. Mm, that doesn't work. It's too short. And the shepherds need an action. They need to be an action men and women. So what do you think the shepherds said when they saw the angels? Ah! Okay, you're right. Have you read the script? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's four shepherds, ah, when they say that. Now, shepherds, you have to look gobsmacked. So, are you ready to be gobsmacked? Okay, so let's try it from the top. Do you remember all the actions? Or an idea? Um, on the birthday of Jesus, it popped my tea. Four shepherds, three, three wise men. men. Jesus, the special baby. Oh, brilliant. Right. You're doing really well. Uh, right, who else is in the story? Um, Shepherds, wise men. Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus. Who, who's missing? Angels. Angels. 
Yes, we can have angels. If you're an angel, come on up. We can have angels singing. Uh, peace to all people. Um, brilliant. So we can all be seven angels singing. Come on, angels. Yep, brilliant. Is there room? No room at the end. Angels, fantastic. So, we'll have uh, seven angels singing, peace to all people. Great. Uh, what else do we need? How about, it's pretty, this, this uh, manger up here is pretty clean. We need some, we need some, what's this? Uh, we need some animals. Okay. Um, so what animals might have been there? What animals might have been with Mary and Joseph? Sheep. Okay. Cows. Donkeys. Uh, what are camels for the wise men? Okay. Uh, right. We need to divide. Right. Let's see. Sheep. Humphreys. Here, here, donkeys. Right, I've got my wee choir part set up now. I feel like I am. Right, okay, let's let's try that. Uh, so. Uh, Whenever we have eight donkeys braying, can we have the donkeys go? Hey, ah! <laughs> just, just, the, just the donkeys. Some, some of you are a bit too enthusiastic to join it. Just the donkeys. Eight donkeys braying. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, now the section for the camels. So, what noise do camels make? <laughs> Maybe you lose it. You make a, a kind of a moan. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. It's a double job. Right. Hang on. So, are you listening Ooh. down the back? Ooh. Are we booing or moaning? You can do your moan. You have your choice. Okay. So when everybody, when we sing nine camel, cam, camels, camels. Nine camels moaning. Can you all go? Um. Don't, I don't want to sign the cows. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll make I want the cows you to be really distinct. Moan. Sort of. Sheep next. Uh, when, when we sing, ten sheep buying, all the sheep go. Ah. Oh, Best sheep ever. Okay, and finally, the cows, last but not least. When everybody sings, eleven cows are mooing, you all go. <laughs> I think they're sedated. That was, that, was very, that was very authentic, wasn't it, Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> right, just, just one line left now. Uh, and I think to finish off the, the pop nativity, we need some stars. Um, Twelve stars are shining, and we can all do some star actions, everybody, just to make sure we're awake. Star actions, thank you very much. Um, stars. So let's have a quick practice. <clears throat> On the birthday of Jesus, nativity. Twelve stars are shining. Eleven cars are moving. Ten sheep are buying. Nine, Nine camels moving. Eight donkeys praying. Seven angels singing. singing. Peace, peace to all people. people. <laughs> peace to all people. Peace to all people. That line covers out six. R Rosie, we've missed five. Oh, five. 
We've missed five, but it's over the page. Don't worry, if you turn the page. Got <laughs> me <laughs> fired here. Right, perhaps for five we can have our five noisy things. Who are the noisy things? Yeah. Are you? You just have to say. Right, you can be double job as a wise, no, shepherd. Okay. Okay. So the five noisy things are the cows, the sheep, the camels, the donkeys, and the angels making such a racket. It's amazing anyone got any sleep at all that night. So because although I love the carol Silent Night, to be honest, I think it probably wasn't anything like that pretty Christmas cardy sing. Anybody who given birth will tell you it's messy and painful. And for Mary giving birth in a smelly stable, far away from her family and friends, with not even a proper bed for the baby, I don't suppose that was how she wanted it to be. I think that's right. And that's the whole point of the nativity story, isn't it? Because yes. life yes. isn't a, a pretty chocolate box picture. It's more like, um, like Forrest Gump said. It's more like the chocolates inside, isn't it? You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's great. Mmm, caramel delight. Sometimes it's not so great. Ugh, sprout and marmite cream. Um, but at Christmas, Jesus stepped into our messy, painful lives. He lived with us all in our, that's not how I wanted it to be, moments. The Bible says, the word became flesh and moved into the neighborhood. That's what Christmas is all about. God with us in our neighborhood, not just in some posh houses where the film stars live, but here with us, right where we are, in whatever mess and pain and not how I wanted it to be, that we're going through. So, perhaps, as we see our lovely nativity here, it might be a reminder to you this Christmas that you'd like to take some time to talk with the God who becomes a baby, who knows each one of us better than we know ourselves, and who still likes us, even with all the mess. So, with all our imperfect, our imperfect, noisy, messy Christmases. Let's get our pop up nativity going. So are you ready with your stars a shining? Yes. Good exercise. Are the cows a, mo a mooing? Moo. Very gentle. Are the sheep? <laughs> that must be the bull. <laughs> right. Are the sheep a baaing? <laughs> Are you ready, camels? Moon. Moon. Very good. Are the donkeys brain? Eeyos. And cowboys. Um, so are you ready, shepherds? Are you ready, shepherds? Ah! Wise men? Me I'm just going on here. Wise men, Mary and Joe. And is everybody ready to pop? So here we go. <coughs> on the birthday of Jesus, it's nativity. Twelve stars are shining, eleven cars are moving, ten sheep are bearing. Nine camels mooing, eight donkeys praying, seven angels singing, peace. Be beautiful, beautiful. Five noisy things, everybody. Four shepherds, three wise men. Mary and Joe and he's a special baby.
give yourselves all a big clap and uh, performers to goodbye. Stand and beginning to uh, take the wrong things and make them right, take the darkness and make them light. We can join in with Jesus' mission as we live and as we pray. Um, so we're going to pray for some situations in the world that maybe aren't so, so nice that need God's help. Um, and to help us to pray about different things, we're going to pray in a special way. 
On your way in, you receive one of these. They will be familiar at Christmas time. They are celebrations. Um, does any hands up if you don't have one because you need one? Does anybody not have one? Okay, brilliant. Did you, Robert? Did you get one? Do you have one? Oh, you've got. Oh, you, you're well prepared. Good man. Right. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Can I have my slide, please, Ian? Oh, very nice. Uh, and nice and big for folks at home as well, Dan. That'd be brilliant. Thank you very much. So, depending on what celebration you've got, you don't have to like it. You can give it away afterwards, or if you've already eaten it, I hope you've got your wrapper. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, next slide, please. Uh, we're going to we're going to ask uh, for God's help with some things. Okay. So if you got a Twix. Uh, we're going to just ask God to help uh, anyone who doesn't have enough food right now. If you got a, uh, a galaxy or a galaxy caramel, you're going to pray and ask God to help anyone who is sick at the moment. If you got a uh, Malteser, then you're going to be praying, Malteser folks, for anyone who's lonely, maybe especially at this time of year. If you got Mars, hold up Mars. Mars, folks, we're going to be praying for people who are cold this winter and maybe need some help keeping warm, keeping their, host, their houses warm. Um, if you've got a Milky Way, hold up Milky Way. Milky Way, folks, you're going to be praying for uh, anyone who feels scared. And uh, Finally, if you've got a bounty, Hold it up, and before you pop that in the bin, you're going to be praying for, um, for us. You're going to pray for us, for all of us, to be able to share our joy this Christmas time. So does that make sense? Whatever, sweetie, you've got, uh, we're going to pray just quietly in our own hearts for that thing. Uh, and then we can eat our sweets together. So let's just be quiet, let's be still for a minute, and let's pray. We know that God hears the, the prayers of our lips and the prayers of our hearts. And we know that God is faithful to answer. You know, the scriptures say, um, taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is tasty. The Lord is faithful to answer prayer. Um, so if you want to, you can open that sweet, <laughs> eat it up, and let those good flavors, let those good flavors remind you that God is good and that God hears prayers. I've just eaten this and I've remembered that I can't eat dairy products and <laughs> but I'm not going to spit it out on screen. Gross. We're going to sing our, uh, our Advent carol that we've been singing together. It's a song that, uh, that cries out for God to help in uh, dark and difficult situations. It's uh, O Come Emmanuel. Let's stand together.
Come desire of nations find All peoples in one heart and mind Bid envy, strife, and quarrel cease Fill the whole world with heaven's peace Rejoice, rejoice In a new world to Now, I'm going to invite some folks to uh, come up and join me. Will the McClellan family come and join me? And uh, we also have a, a special guest with us, uh, Robert Hamilton, who is uh, the minister of Movilla Presbyterian Church up the road. Hi, Robert. Do you want to come up as well? Now, you all know the McClellan family, and uh, over the last year or more, really, isn't that right, Tori has been feeling a call to explore uh, her ministry again, and particularly um, youth ministry. Um, as to when our friends up the road at Mofilla Presbyterian advertised for a new role, she began to explore that. And we are pleased that they found that Tori was a brilliant fit. For their role. The sad part of that for us is that Tori and Michael and Joshua and Olivia are going to be worshipping with the Movilla Presbyterian family on Sundays uh, and so we want to send them out with our blessing. Um, so Tori in a moment I'm going to ask you specifically what we can be praying for um, but it's great to have Robert with us and we'd just love to uh, give you an opportunity to share a little bit Robert. Thank you. Uh, greetings everyone, uh, just from the church up the road. I, I left our service with cows mooing, sheep bowing, <laughs> angelic angels as well, um, and came in here to this, um, which is great. Um, over the last number of years as well, we have been exploring as a church of a position that we could pay somebody, not just to work with our youth in our church, but actually go out uh, to the community as well. Um, and we were delighted when Tori applied and she knocked the interview out of the park uh, and we were so delighted uh, to be able to be in this position now just to appoint you and to welcome uh, your, all of the youth uh, to um, Villa Presbyterian, to Michael and to Josh and to little Olivia as well. Um, I'm a wee bit worried. This is the second time I've seen Tori wore a beard as well. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not too sure about that one now, but uh, yes. They're coming through. Um, can I just, for you as a church, promise uh, this morning that we will look after this family really well. Uh, we want to uh, invest with them, but also it is an opportunity for us, as we've done the light night, just to work together through things as well. Uh, there's a verse I want to share with you this morning, just before I finish, and I'm going to try and balance my Bible and the microphone too, just from First Philippians chapter 1. I thank, God, I thank my God every time I remember you in all my prayers for all of you always. Pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. God's blessings. Oh, going this way. Uh, Tori. What can we pray for? Um, praying for our move over to Mavilla Presbyterian, for the community, for this area, because as Robert said, you know, it's not just inwardly, it's outwardly, um, for the people that I'll be interacting with, for our family, 
um, for the youth here and in the Villa Presbyterian, um, just for that God's word is seen and heard by as many as possible, would be great. It's amazing. Okay, so we're going to do that now. We're going to pray them out as a church family. Um, so if you guys come into the middle, Robert, will you go to the, the other side there? And, and we will, uh, as you know, in scripture, uh, laid on hands or outstretched hands is a sign of God's blessing working through us. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do as we pray for this precious family. And I encourage you, if you're comfortable, to uh, reach out a hand of blessing towards them as we pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for uh, the McClellan family. Thank you for everything that they have meant to all of us here. Um, and thank you, uh, Lord Jesus, that you're never done with us, that you're always calling us on, that Jesus, you keep saying, come follow me, and that you always have something next for us. So Lord, thank you for uh, Michael and Tori's faithfulness in exploring this call, um, and as they felt their, their hearts tugged as they loved this place and this family so much. Um, but Lord, we are sending them just up the road and we're sending them with our blessing. We're sending them in joy. Um, Holy Spirit, will you uh, help them to settle and find home and find friends? Um, for Tori especially, Lord, would you fan into flame the gift of the Spirit to equip her for everything that you have set before her? Lord, as we thank you for the blessing that they've been to us, we thank you as well that we know we can trust you for the future. We can trust you for our relationships and friendships. And Lord, most of all, we thank you that your kingdom is bigger than any local church, than any denomination. We together are your people following Jesus, blessing our community in your name. And together, all God's people say, Amen. 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 Stand together. I think my pads are working again. Eh? <laughs> Angels we have heard on high is a beautiful song of celebration uh, for the story that we've just been retelling. We'll do this quite fast, will we? Let's celebrate. Oh 
you, man. It's good to celebrate, isn't it? And, uh, do you know what? You guys are in such good voice today, and uh, it would be really good to hear some more of that. And so you'd be so welcome back tonight at 7 p.m. for our candlelit carol service, which will be a more sedate affair. Um, but you'd be so welcome. Uh, a little bit of peace and quiet and celebrating with joy in our hearts. You'd be welcome there. And of course, I've got a slide. Brilliant. Uh, a reminder, we really want to uh, have as many of us there as possible um, to bring our joy and our celebration out of our buildings, out of Movilla Abbey Church, out of Movilla Presbyterian, into the streets. Um, we'd love to see you there, dress appropriately for the weather, um, and we'll see you at 6.30 uh, on Wednesday, just, just outside the community centre on Abbott Gardens. Now, we go into our final few days of preparation, so let's get ready to celebrate well. Whether that is with a lot of noise and tinsel and sparkle, or whether that is simply in the quietness and peace of our own hearts. Let every heart prepare him room. Amen. <laughs>